So, the Anvil Terrapin. What is it? What does it do? And is it any good? This video aims to find out. I'll be looking at its role, specifications and performance. So stick around till the end and find out my verdict on this plucky little tank from Anvil Aerospace. The Terrapin was developed in the end of the 28th century to serve as the first ship in the Empire's defensive restructuring of the Navy. The Terrapin's watchword is protection, with extensive shield systems and armor layers designed to provide the maximum possible defense for pilot and crew. While it lacks the maneuverability of a dedicated fighter, it does maintain an advanced, hard-hitting array of weapons intended to keep the most fearsome Vandal Raider at bay. The Star Citizen Wiki reports, the Anvil U4A-3 Terrapin is an armoured vehicle designed for overwatch, long endurance picket and to add reconnaissance capabilities to the fleet, as well as extend the UEE Navy's ability to provide a patrol presence to border systems that couldn't be allocated capital ships or large fighter garrisons for defence. So what is it? It's a sneaky mutant ninja Terrapin is what it is. The Terrapin's focus could therefore best be described as a reconnaissance and overwatch scout. It has minimal offensive weaponry, coming as standard with a single piffling size 2 laser cannon that I can, after some extensive testing confirm, would struggle to knock a hen off a wet nest. My findings are therefore somewhat at odds with the official website's description of a hard-hitting array of weapons intended to keep the most fearsome Vandal Raiders at bay. No. Your only real hope in a firefight is the very real possibility that the enemy pilot may just die of a heart attack while laughing hysterically at your feeble attempts at hostility. A fighter, the Terrapin is not. But it was never designed to be. What the Terrapin does excel at is incursion and data gathering while remaining largely undetected. And should its cover be blown, its powerful set of thrusters are capable of propelling it out of the reach of enemy fire with surprising vigour, while its heavy shielding and highly durable hull armour make sure that any hits that do land translate into minimal damage. And in order to gather that data, the Terrapin is equipped with a class-leading long-range radar, able to pinpoint and detect signals far beyond the range of your average ship's radar. It's not clear exactly how accurate this radar sweep will be, as the mechanics behind it are still being fleshed out, but I think it's safe to say that it will outperform all but the biggest and most sophisticated radar systems, such as maybe those found on the upcoming Admiral Carrick or possibly the Constellation of Kuru. The Terrapin comes equipped with a medium radar and a medium computer, along with a medium Sakura Sun Daybreak power plant, two small Arctic Storm coolers, and a medium bearing 5MA Chamali shield generator. She also has two small fuel tanks and two small fuel intakes, along with a small quantum drive and one small quantum fuel tank. One thing you'll notice about the Terrapin when you hop in and fire her up is the well laid out cockpit. Everything is beautiful and clear and right at your fingertips, though I did notice a sad lack of cup holders. Visibility from the cockpit is adequate, given the Terrapin's primary eyes and ears are at sensor suite, this isn't the best ship for sightseeing. The interior cabin is dominated by a radar operations chair that, for reasons unknown, is accented with horrific blood-red mood lighting when the main power is off. You can sit in it and play around with the controls, though it doesn't actually do anything right now. The top speed of 157 meters per second, standard combat maneuvers, and a burn speed of 1204. It can get there reasonably quickly, though it's outpaced by more nimble fighters such as the Arrow and the Gladius.
I like the Terrapin. I appreciate its utilitarian design and no-nonsense aesthetics. It's functional and rustic, but you wouldn't want to be seen taking a date out in her. The Origin 315P is probably a better bet for that. And even though there's not much actual gameplay for this ship right now, I've had a lot of fun just running around in it. Its sprightly performance and rugged character sit well with my particular style of gameplay. And even though she'll never win any beauty contests, you certainly won't feel embarrassed being seen in one. I'm looking forward to being able to use this ship in the specific role for which it was designed covert infiltration and data gathering, but for now it's pretty handy for courier missions and just tooling around in asteroid fields.